this is a this is a broader uh, mm -hmm. question, but I know you have a uh, an excellent reputation of being the risk manager for uh, for your firm, and that and you feel, as you've said today, that you feel that's a principal responsibility of the CEO. Why do you think that, as a society, we seem to uh, have missed so many uh, signals <laughs> across a range of areas? Uh, in the well, but rising prices and discredited Cassandras from the past blunt sensitivities and judgment even of people who are very smart. I mean, initially, my old boss, Ben Graham, used to say you get much more trouble in investments with a sound premise than with a bad premise, because the bad premise you recognize immediately doesn't make any sense. When you have a sound premise, namely the Internet's going to be very important and eyeballs are going to be important and all of that, initially that it makes a lot of sense. After a while, the rising prices of all Internet stocks cause people to be able to raise billions of dollars for things that are nonsensical. A home is a sound investment. I mean, it is a, 66 or 67 percent of the people are going to want to be in one. And if you believe house prices are going to go up next year, you're going to stretch to buy one this year. And, and the world enabled people to stretch. After a while, rising prices became their, their own rationale. And people decided if buying one house was a good idea, buying three houses was a good idea. If buying a house you can afford is a good idea, buying a house you can't afford is a good idea because it's going to go up in price. And people who lent money said it doesn't really make any difference whether the guy's lying about his income because uh, if the house goes up in price, we'll get our money back anyway. So rising prices are a narcotic that uh, affect the reasoning power of up and down the line, people even that should have had the experience. Isaac Newton, you know, participated in the South Sea bubble, originally got out, and then he couldn't stand prices going up any longer, so he went back in and got cleaned, you know, and this is a fellow that generally was regarded as being pretty bright. So it, it, rising prices are uh, eventually, we had it in farmland in, in, in the Midwest, and it was a worse recession for us than the housing recession because people just felt they're not making any more farmland, there are going to be more people, they're going to eat more, farmland's going to get more productive. <laughs> And the rising prices eventually created their own their own destruction. On my time, just quickly, but but okay, if it's a narcotic, but don't we expect that regulators, credit rating agencies, uh, not partake of the narcotic? Isn't that their role? Well, you would hope so, but it's not easy to to avoid. I mean, well, still, but you don't you, know, had, you, know, had, you had, don't want your police trading in crack. I mean, no. you want them stepping back. Yeah, and we had Chairman Greenspan talk about you know uh, irrational exuberance in 1996, but it. With all, with the power of his podium and everything else, we had a great internet boom after that. That was, I know, you know, but that was the nature of my questions about who's responsible: regulators, shareholders, boards, management. Someone must be. I'll, I'll turn it back to 